It can get hot at Walt Disney World. I'm talking about 105 degrees with 90% humidity. You will definitely feel it, especially if you go in the summer, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't go to Walt Disney World. There are a few tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you in this video to help you beat the heat on vacation at Disney. The number one rule, the biggest thing I want you to take out of this video, stay hydrated. Even if you think you are totally fine, you don't need any water for days, you just go on Disney Energy, and I am a victim of this. I do this all the time, and I've got a learn not to. You got to keep hydrating throughout the day. Drink water, whatever it takes to make sure you stay hydrated. Disney has free ice water all around the parks. Most of the quick service dining locations, even the ice cream shops, you'll find free water. If they don't have it there, they will know where to send you so that you can find some. Now, if you've already had a lot of water, another great tip, go for some of those frozen dessert or frozen beverages. They are delicious at Disney, whether it's the one in Tomorrowland or maybe a pineapple Dole Whip, which is a delicious way to cool off at Disney. They have a lot of different options available to you. Don't be afraid to look around and ask. Another key tip that I use all the time, I go in and out of the air-conditioned locations. Like if I'm in Epcot, I'll just browse through Mouse Gear. Making my way to Test Track, maybe from Soarin', I'll go through Mouse Gear so I can get a little bit of that air conditioning on my way to the next attraction. This tip is especially helpful to me, especially in those parks that don't have a lot of covered walk areas or a lot of indoor areas. If you can find one or two that you can kind of pass through or maybe stop in for just a minute or two to absorb some of that AC, it definitely helps. Another important tip, dress for the day's weather. If it looks like it's going to be 95 degrees and a lot of humidity, you may want to leave those blue jeans at home and instead wear these shorts and a t-shirt. It's going to help a lot. As someone who comes from the DC area, when I go to Disney, I can definitely tell you that this can be tough to do. It might be 50 degrees here in the DC area, and then when I get to Disney, it's 95 degrees, so huge temperature difference. It's just something to pack for. Another tip that I should definitely follow in the future, don't be afraid to pace yourself at Disney. I have this tendency of just like running a million miles an hour, speed walking, a million miles an hour through Disney, wanting to see all the magic, feeling that Disney energy, and I don't pace myself enough. Maybe I should save that more for the winter months and for the summer months, spend more time inside and pacing myself a little bit more. But this really does tie into knowing your body limits. Every single person is different. You have to know what you can take, what you are interested in experiencing. Your way of experiencing Disney might be totally different from someone else's, so don't be afraid to change up the style to make it perfect for you. Disney World has two water parks and a ton of different resort pools. Do not be afraid to go back to your resort and hop in the pool or go to the water park to cool off in the middle of the day. One spot that's been getting a lot more popular recently is Club Cool at Epcot. Located right next to the Fountain of Nations, Club Cool provides you with a taste of sodas from all around the world and it has really nice cold AC. A great spot to stand inside and again that number one rule, staying hydrated, Club Cool can help with that. Another tip that you saw us experience on our most recent adventure, go on one of those water or splash rides at Disney. Now to me the difference between a water ride and a splash ride at Disney is Kali River Rapids I'd consider a water ride because you will get wet, you may get soaked, and something like Splash Mountain would be more of a splash ride because you're more than likely going to get at least a little bit wet, but usually don't get soaked. Usually. Sometimes you do, but usually you don't. A good tip on top of that one is to combine a splash style ride with an indoor ride. For example, Frozen Ever After. Most of the queue for Frozen Ever After is located inside a building where it's AC and it's really, really nice. And then during the ride, it's all inside and you get a little bit of a splash as you go down that long hill. So it's a great attraction for a hot day. When the parks get just a little bit too hot for you and you don't want to go to a water park or a water ride, maybe resort hopping is more your speed. Hopping on the monorail and going around some of those resorts inside in the AC is one of my favorite ways to stay cool in the summer at Disney. What I will commonly do on a hot Magic Kingdom day is hop on the monorail and start visiting the different resorts around the Magic Kingdom. I'll start with the Contemporary, then go to the Polynesian, Grand Floridian. They all have a unique theme, great dining, and most of it is inside so you can sit back relax in that AC, enjoy some of the theming, maybe with a special pineapple dough whip from Pineapple Lanai, and cool down. It does help a lot. Now, if there are a lot of other guests who are interested in staying cool at Disney and take these tips and maybe go on those indoor rides first, you may want to hop on some of those rides that go either really, really fast so you can get some of that breeze or are covered throughout the duration of the ride. Two different ideas come to mind for me. Test Track, which does have an outside area, is mostly inside. Most of the queue is inside 
it, and it goes really fast around the outside, giving you a lot of that breeze that should help you cool off. Another one of my favorites is the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. It is all covered the entire way. You can sit back, relax, get a grand circle tour, feel a little bit of that breeze going, people watch. I love it. Also in Tomorrowland, we cannot forget the Carousel of Progress. 20 minutes of sitting back, relaxing in a very comfortable chair with really cold AC, watching one of my favorite throwback shows. That is a great idea on a hot day. Another way to stay cool at Disney is to get one of those personal fans to blow on you, or a personal mister that they do sell at Disney. Those are really, really nice. Or to get one of these special cooling towels. This was actually sent to me by a friend, and I found it so helpful on this past adventure. It's called the Frosty Towel. You put it in the, the sealed bag, it stays cold, it stays a little bit damp. You know, it sounds like, oh, is that sanitary? It really, really is. It stayed perfectly fresh, and I was able to just kind of dab it on and put it on my head a little bit, and it helped quite a bit. So, frosty towel or cooling towel also helps a lot. Now, looping back to the number one rule at Disney, staying hydrated, I do recommend using the resort refillable mug. The reason is because when I get this mug, I, I pay a significant amount of money, $18, $20, whatever it is, I want to get my money's worth out of it. So I end up doing some resort hopping and I say to myself, okay, I want to get my money's worth. I want to refill it several times. So go right in the beach club as an example, refill it, walk around drinking it a little bit. And then before I leave, I'll refill it again. I'm staying hydrated and I'm getting my money's worth out of the refillable mug. Last but not least, don't forget about that ice cream at Walt Disney World. We touched on this a little bit earlier with the Dole Whip, but there are certain places like Le Artisan de Glace and Beaches and Cream that have amazing ice cream treats and are worth the visit, especially on a hot day. I sure hope you found these tips helpful if you're thinking about going to Disney during the summer or whenever it's hot at Disney. And if you're at Disney now, maybe you're running off to get a Dole Whip. I don't blame you at all. Stay hydrated. Let me know your favorite tip in the comments below, or if you have one to add, I would love to hear yours as well. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.